Hello everyone, it's Julie from the Children's Room at the Hedberg Public Library. I'm so excited to be with you for a Book Talk Wednesday. Today I have picture books about being thankful and Thanksgiving to share with you. The first book I would like to share with you is called Thank You Amu, written by Oge Mora. In this story, Amu makes a delicious pot of stew. After she shares it with her neighbors, she discovers there isn't any left for her. Amu then receives a wonderful surprise from all of those neighbors. On the corner of First Street and Long Street, on the very top floor, Amu was cooking a thick red stew in a big fat pot for a nice evening meal. She seasoned and stirred it and took a small taste. What a delicious stew, Amu said. Tonight's dinner will surely be the best I have ever had. With that, Amu put down her spoon and went to read a book before supper. As the thick red stew simmered on the stove, its scrumptious scent wafted out the window and out the door, down the hall, toward the street, and around the block until, knock, someone was at the door. When Amu opened it, she saw a little boy. Little boy, Amu exclaimed, what brings you to my home? I was playing with my race car down the hall when I smelled the most delicious smell. The little boy replied, what is it? Thick red stew. Mmm, stew, he sighed. That sure sounds yummy. Amu thought for a moment. She was saving her stew for dinner, but she had made quite a bit. It would not hurt to share. Would you like some? The little boy nodded. And so Amu spooned out some thick red stew from the big fat pot for her nice evening meal. Thank you, Amu, the little boy said, and went on his way. And if you would like to read more about Amu and her stew and her neighbors, you can read Thank You, Amu by Oge Mora. The next story I have for us today is called Thanks for Thanksgiving by Julie Marks and illustrated by Doris Barrett. And this is just a wonderful story about things that we can be thankful for. Thanks for Thanksgiving for turkey and pie. Thank you for fall and gold leaves floating by. Thank you for school. I love to feel smart. Thank you for music and dancing and art. And if you want to read more about what our friends are thankful for, you can read Thanks for Thanksgiving. Our next story is called The Firefighter's Thanksgiving, written by Mary Beth Boltz and illustrated by Terry Widener. And this story is about Thanksgiving Day at Station One. With all of the emergency calls that the firefighters receive, they aren't able to make their Thanksgiving dinner. When they get back from a call that night, they find a wonderful surprise. Thanksgiving Day! This shift's begun. 10 firefighters at Station 1. Lou says, I can cook today. A list is made. They're on their way. A turkey, pumpkin, yeast, potatoes, ice cream, yams, and ripe tomatoes. The cart is full. The shopping's through. A call comes in. It's 9.02. And to, to read more about Thanksgiving Day at Station 1, you can read The Firefighters Thanksgiving. The last book that I would like to share with you today is called 
And I know an old lady who swallowed a pie. And this is written by Allison Jackson with pictures by Judith Byron Schockner. And this is a take off of the old story, I know an old lady who swallowed a fly, but with Thanksgiving food. I know an old lady who swallowed a pie, a Thanksgiving pie, which was really too dry. Perhaps she'll die. I know an old lady who swallowed some cider that rumbled and mumbled and grumbled inside her. She swallowed the cider to moisten the pie, the Thanksgiving pie, which was really too dry. Perhaps she'll die. And it goes on just like the story does. So if you want a fun Thanksgiving read, I recommend I Know an Old Lady Who Swallowed a Pie. And I would like to finish up today by sharing this cute little board book called Five Little Thank Yous by Cindy Jin and illustrated by Don M. Cardona. And I am reading this with permission from Simon & Schuster. Thank you for this sweet, warm home, blessed with family, all my own. Thank you for the food we share, made with tender love and care. Thank you for the friends I know who make me laugh and help me grow. Thank you for the love that shines with hugs and kisses all the time. But most of all, I'm thankful to be the one and only special me. Happy Thanksgiving. And that's the story called Five Little Thank Yous. Thank you so much for joining me today for our Book Talk Wednesday. I hope you have a chance to read a good book with someone special.